Hello friends, I'm Um, and today we're gonna dive into the fantastic world of Linux again. And today's the day I decide to use Linux and start my coding journey. And for that, I'm going to build a proper Linux setup, which is properly optimized for coding only. And for that, I'm gonna use Fedora. Now, you might be wondering like, why Fedora? Because, well, when we talk about coding and that sort of stuff, it's better to go for Ubuntu, Debian, Linux Mint, all those which has a very vast repository of applications and packages. But instead, I choose to go for Fedora because Fedora is really, really stable with latest or the greatest software along with the power I need for my Linux setup. And that just might be the proper operating system you need as well. But there are a lot of Fedora based Linux distribution which might be proper for you. For example, if you're a gamer, streamer or a content creator, you can go for Nobara Linux. It is based on Fedora, but better. But I don't have to do all that stuff. And that's why I'm just going to go with real base, the native version of Fedora 41. So let's get started, shall we? And here I am on my computer screen right now or laptop screen. And now talking about it, let's just check out the system configurations. So right now, let me just go to performance mode. There I am. Go to system settings, about, and here we are on Fedora 41 with my CPU only. And as you can see, my dedicated graphics card is not set up yet. And I believe I should not focus on my dedicated graphics card because it takes a hell lot of battery usage. And that's why I'm not just going to go for it show you the system information and as you can see right now I have 16 gigs of ram in which 3 gigs of ram is currently in use which is i believe pretty okay for me and now the first thing you should do along with everybody else is go and search like whatever distribution you install you should go and search for things to do after installing and now your distribution name for which i mine is fedora 41 there we are and just go there and here we are now let me just follow all the steps here in order to make fedora 41 a proper distribution for my own use so the first thing is configuring dnf for faster downloads and packages well it is true dnf is not that great but we can make it copy it open the terminal paste it click enter type your password there we are wait what i'm seeing absolutely nothing here literally so i need to copy this and paste it there now copy this paste it there all right that's done now what i have to do i need to save it but i need to know how to save it so first i need to save it where i can oh it's there right out maybe Control o done now i need to click enter maybe route five lines now Control x and I'm done. We can check it by re-entering this and we're good to go. So the first step is completed. The second step is to update the system. Now I'm going to go for terminal instead of this because for obviousness we're using Linux. Let's do it. Let me just clear it. Control L and then paste. Enter. And first it's going to load all the repositories. Know which application should it update or not. And then the update process will start. That's how it is done. Now, after the update, I'll have to enable my RPM Fusion and third-party repositories. Then, enjoying the dark mode, installing a few multimedia plugins. Well, we can directly just install VLC. And then, installing some few applications. Well, yeah, that's just it. I need to update the system. And after that, I'll be done. Now, the thing which I've been wondering is, where is my maximize and minimize button? Because I bloody cannot see that. So let's just go to GNOME Tweaks. Now, if you're wondering how to get, you know, this type of desktop, which I have right now, the link is in the description. So let's go to Windows, enable maximize and minimize buttons. And I believe I'm good to go. Yep, I am. And the performance mode is on. I'd like this to go on balance because the fan noise is literally pretty hard. Well, let it... You know, these are taking some time because they're searching for the fastest mirror and you only have to do it once. After that, it will be super fast. Well, I like one thing here though, like the 
trackpad and its gestures are super damn smooth like really the scrolling is just smooth way much better than what i had on windows browse without missing the beat all oh, right well if someone were to ask me like which web browser i prefer i just say maybe like go for google chrome but if you are someone who doesn't like google just go for gnome web or epiphany it's almost completed now it um, you know might end up showing what are the updates here well in the meantime let me just tell you about a few things there we are it needs to download 1 gb and after the end you know operation 135 mb extra will be used which means like 4 gigs of drivers will be removed and 5 gigs of proper things will be installed well click y enter and there it is installing at full speed as you can see it might end up taking approximately half an hour now in the meantime i'd like to tell you about what i'm gonna do you know in terms of coding well to say the truth i actually have not yet thought about it well i was thinking like i want to go in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning so let's just explore it with me let's go to google um come on there we are now let's search how to start learning about ai and ml let's search yep there now we are on data camps website let's see what is artificial intelligence well i want to know about like how to learn from it from start okay so how to learn ai from scratch in 2025 so first we need to master some skills and the first one is mathematics oh poor literally what about those students who come from biologic background right well talking about myself then i've taken mathematics with physics and chemistry in my last class in school so i'd be fine with that then we should know basic statistics a chapter which i really hate and then a willingness to learn which i am now talking about it developing specialist ai skills all right so statistic fundamentals with python skill track all right and then introduction to python course about probability distributions hypothesis then introduction to in r course i know what that is now talking about mathematics then fundamentals of probability in python course all right in terms of programming let's take a look at that you should know how to write code allow you to develop ai algorithms manipulate data and use ai tools and libraries python is currently the most popular language in the ai community due to its simplicity flexibility availability of data science libraries well i believe we have our answers i'm gonna go with ai with python so let me just search install python on linux well i believe we do have a proper package already from there but i want something proper like using anaconda or visual code studio maybe but the real proper python would be okay in my opinion let's go with linux here we are now let's go to the latest release of python all right here we are and how am i supposed to you know install it go to linux where the hell is linux other platforms um alternative python packages let's let me just see there well in linux distributions python mostly is already installed so i just need to run this command to check whether it is or not so i just need to create a new tab paste this enter and it is already installed in the latest version i don't need to do anything that's good mm -hmm, nice well but but the question is like how am i supposed to you know code on linux on python in particular well let me just search how to install python ideally well if you don't know what ideally is then it's indicated development environment for linux in which we can code on python let's see how we can install the ideally because the python base is already installed so we don't have to do anything about it now here we are well this article is literally way too old all right so i don't i need to install ideally 3 with a pro you know a command well i'll just wait until it gets downloaded and my system's up to date and then i'll install the pythons at idla well let me just search is anaconda available well looks like it is because i've heard that anaconda is actually one of the best development environments for linux there we are linux installer 
I'm on Red Hat. If you don't know, Red Hat and Fedora are almost equal. So I'll need to do all this shit. Hmm. Well, in my opinion, I'm good with the native Python's IDE3. I'll just wait until it's get downloaded the system updates. And after that, I install my development environment. At last, finally, my laptop has been updated. Now we have to download sudo dnf install idle3 password yes enter and it is downloading well the, you see this is the thing which i love the most about linux we don't have to download the packages and then install we can do all of that with a single click and now here is the idle i want it and i really like the you know look of it but i definitely don't like its window theme and design definitely not at all oh man this is just so darn old and looks like we cannot properly optimize or configure the IDLE in the way I want. Because just look at it. It's so damn old. Well, let me just test this particular thing. Let me just press Ctrl N. There we have. Now let me just open the editor and the shell. Let's just do something like L equals to 2 and B equals to 3 and H equals to 4. Now area equals to L star b star h print area control s test now when i press f5 there it is and if i were to print area of rectangle rule s f5 wait now looks like there is a problem but what the hell is the problem all right um still a problem all right a comma i'm still learning sorry there we are area of rectangle is 24 nice so all in all it is working but i definitely do not like the ideally definitely not at all i want something which would look better and that's why i believe i'm just gonna go with visual code studio so let me just search install vs code fedora there we are come on then load it up well i just updated every bloody piece of thing and that's why it needs a reboot but still first i'm just gonna take a look at here all right, so I just need to do that, huh? Hmm. Well, isn't there an RPM package we can just download and install? Well, let's just take a look. There we are, the RPM package. Here it is. And the package is downloaded. Let's just install it. Right click, open with software install. Well, I will say though, like, the overall look and feel of this theme is just so darn beautiful. Like, really. And along with GNOME 47, it's just so minimal and elegant. Like, really. And with this particular wallpaper, everything is so beautiful. Well, application's been installed already. Let's open it. Hmm. It's pretty fast. Here we are. Well, well. This just looks beautiful. Well, is there any light theme? Well, it should have. Like, is there any overall theme of the application? Maybe there. Color. Not command. Color palette. Appearance. There we are. That's what I'm talking about. There's a zen mode I don't know about. Let's just try it. Oh, alright. This just looks done. Awesome. What was it? Control plus Z or K? Control KZ or... Maybe it was just something like that. Well, well. Let me just cut it. Well, so my applications are installed. All the ones which I needed. All what is left is reboot the system and I'll be good to go. Let me just try it again. Oh man, I don't like the Zen mode. Where's the keyboard options? The editor management keyboard. Alright, so what I needed. Oh, we can also set up copilot here. That is something which is there. Come on man, like I know this looks beautiful but... Alright, we can explore new features as well. We have the GitHub Scopilot here, as well as a lot of stuff which I don't know about. Well, all in all, I've properly set up what I needed to set up. And that is this beautiful, actually this is indeed beautiful. Especially GNOME desktop with Fedora's stability along with the blue color and its wallpaper. As well as these beautiful icon packs and the Visual Code Studio in Zen mode or whatever like really it's just beautiful all right there i am this is what i'm i was searching for well i'll choose it later so i need to press Control plus k z or i don't understand like Control c Control shift c Control k z 
What is... Alright, finally here I am. After randomly smashing through my keyboard, finally here I am. Now let's choose one. Let's choose a proper beautiful theme like this one. Well, I believe the dark theme looks awesome and especially with this Zen mode with, which is activated by Control plus KZ, which I don't know what that is. Control plus KZ. Control K C. Control K C. Control Z. -K. Come on, then I don't know how to use this. Like there's not even a plus there. Control K then C. The key combination Control plus K and Control plus C is nothing. So what I need, like Control. All right. So I need to press Control K and then after some time Z. Sorry for the noise in the background. Well, all in all, what I needed to do is done. And in the next video. I will properly like start my coding journey on Linux. This was the setup video in which I have set up all the things.